What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew and welcome to Real Estate Basics. Today I'm going to be giving you revision 2 of my Excel calculator for real estate for free. Now I will say Bigger Pockets has some excellent calculators on their website that spit out very professional reports. However, I built this calculator because one, I just love Excel and I'm a nerd. And two, I wanted to be able to analyze multiple purchase prices as well as a range of monthly rents to know exactly where the numbers make sense for a given property. So with that, let's dive right on into the single family calculator. You have your purchase prices up top, you have your down payment in terms of a percentage, you have your closing costs in terms of a percentage of the purchase price, and you have the initial repairs and rehab to make the property rent ready. Now you can see your total cash in and now you can set the terms of your loan by changing the number of years and the interest rate you will be getting. Property taxes are represented as a percentage of the purchase price annually and these columns will divide that out into a monthly rate. Insurance, put in your annual insurance premium over here and if you anticipate paying any utilities for your tenants or if there's an HOA regime fee you can add that in here and you only need to put it in once because the other columns will grab that information automatically down at the bottom of this section you can see what your total monthly payment will be now over here we have the range of rents which I believe I can get based on comps that I pull from my realtor or property manager. And don't forget about your reserves for that true cash flow calculation. Repairs, vacancy, and capex. And if you're planning on using property manager, you can put that here. This is represented as a percentage of the monthly rent that your property manager will charge. Otherwise, go ahead and put zero here. Now we have our cash flow in a monthly and annual basis. And right next to that is your cash on cash ROI. And you're wondering what the colors mean. This is just some conditional formatting within Excel that you can change. For example, if you don't want to see a cash on cash ROI, of anything less than 10%, just put 10 in there. Now anything that's above 10% will be highlighted in green and you can change the others as you see fit. The multifamily is set up very similarly. However, you have up to four units. If you're analyzing a triplex, for example, which only has three units, you can go ahead and delete everything in the unit four column. Everything else within the Excel calculator is set up exactly the same. For short-term rentals, some minor differences we have included if there are any special state or county taxes that apply to short-term rentals that you don't pass on to your renters you can put that here as terms of a percentage of the monthly income and the airbnb or vrbo or third-party app that you use if they have any fees such as credit card fees that don't get passed on to the renters, you can put that here as well. Now for the combined calculator, there are a lot of things that are similar in the other calculators. However, this also includes a calculation for the 1% rule and 50% rule to see where your numbers lie. And it also includes net worth return on investment and return on equity after a certain number of years that you've owned the property. You can adjust this to see what the numbers will be after that many years. Alternatively, you can use this table to see based on this appreciation every single year, this is a compounding appreciation equation, what your total appreciation will be for that year, what your home value will be, and then the total appreciation to date since you closed. You'll also see what your total equity is based on your principal pay down as well as appreciation, what your resulting net worth return on investment and return on equity will be 
at the end of that year. Now for simplicity's sake, this calculator only goes up to 30 years. And for reference, we also have an amortization table to show you based on what payment number. Each payment number represents one month, your principal and interest and how those change over time, as well as the remaining loan or outstanding loan after that payment has been made. Now I included some graphs so you can see what your principal and interest looks like over the life of the loan and return on equity versus the year that you've owned the property. And as a freebie, I included allowable passive activity loss, assuming you meet the income requirements. So you can see what your federal income tax savings could potentially be. That's all for this one. So if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.